Hey guys, how you doing? This is John Fuentes. Welcome to Big Films, the home of action-packed blockbuster filmmaking. Today, we're going to dive into the tutorial of our superhero VFX pack in Premiere. Come on, let's jump into it. Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back to another fun and awesome tutorial here in Premiere. As today, we dive into our superhero VFX pack and we use one of our scenes from our promo video, a special K in our special cave here demonstrating Dr. Strange's Mandela's. But before we jump into the tutorial, I just wanted to show you a bit what it would look like at the end here, right? You can see here, Special K has his Mandela's up there. And as we built up that scene, this is where we sort of heading towards, right? We have some direction, what we can look forward to. So to get to the end, we got to start at the beginning. And as we start at the beginning, we got to go forward in our timeline to our video clip where we strip away all of Special K's superpowers here. Before we add our effects, let's just examine really quickly what's happening in this shot here. So we have Special K inside our Special K that is illuminated all red here. And as you can see, he's in his black outfit, very ominous, very villainous. But here at Big Films, we're superheroes. So Special K showed up walking a very thin line here. But as you notice right here on his face, he has a spotlight. It's for two reasons. One is to kind of separate him a bit from the background here, add some contrast there. But the second reason you're going to learn a little bit later in this tutorial. So we're ready to add in the effects here. So let's jump to the beginning of the scene where he's doing his Mr. Miyagi Karate Kid stance and voguing it like this, like hiya hiya, boom, voguing it. So we want to add in the ignite, right? He's igniting the Mandela's here. He's using his action to ignite it, building the energy, and this is where the Mandela will pop out. So in our project folder here, we already have our Doctor Strange effects. When you click on Ignite here and double click on it, it will show up in your preview window here where you kind of scroll through it, see what's happening there. That looks pretty good. So you just want to drag and drop that right onto your movie clip here. And as you scroll over it, you may notice in your premiere, you might have this huge glowing artifact here. Just so you know, there's nothing wrong with our VFX file. Adobe Premiere made an update to their Adobe CC 2018 version. When that happened, it displays the glows with too much intensity. So if you have Adobe 2018, maybe up to Adobe 2022, um, you may see this in your Premiere. If that's the case, don't freak out. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just make sure your VFX file is highlighted, right? And you come up to your effects control panel and look at your blend mode is set to normal and we're looking at this in our normal view so you want to go to the drop down menu and set to screen and as you can see here now that artifact disappears and your vfx looks more natural to your screen so the next thing you want to see here right when you double click on it you can see the anchor point when you drop the effects into over your movie clip it lands right in the middle of your shot but his hands are up here right so you just want to move it right over his hands here and in your effects control panel you can scale it down just a bit not too much but just a bit just enough to where his kind of looks really cool right there right on his hands so as he's igniting through bam that looks great so now we're ready to drop in the very first mandela so here we have mandela number one you can double click on it and scroll through it that's looking pretty good here just want to drag drop that right into our scene just like that and as you can see here, as you scroll through it, it's going to have this huge glow. So first I want to do is trim this down, right? Let's just kind of like scroll this down a little bit. Trim down to size. And that is looking good. So now let's handle this glow here, right? So when you make sure that your VFX file is highlighted here, go to your fetch control panel, look at your blend mode set to normal. Get down to the drop down menu and set it to screen. And again, now your effect really looks like it's organic to the scene, like it's really happening there, right? So here we are at full scale here. Now we have the full effect going on, but and this is supposed to be anchored over to his knuckles, right? So first let's scale it down a bit. This looks really good. It's kind of kind of getting some here. I think maybe 56 I like a lot. Right, right, right there. And boom. And then we want to double click on that. Move that right over here. So here in your anchor point here, you want to line it up. Right? Some people might want to have it here in his knuckle. I like using maybe the bottom part of his knuckle here. That looks pretty good. Really solid. So as you scroll through it, it's like, okay, that's looking good. And his hand, yeah, bam. You may notice as the camera moves closer to him, his hand sort of drifts into the upper third of your frame here. So the effect itself is not moving with his hand. So we just quickly track that. And that's real simple and easy to do which I'm going to show you right now. So you make sure your effect is highlighted. Come into your effects control panel and you look at your position. There's a stopwatch right there. You just want to click on that and you see a keyframe pops up right here, right? So here, now we want to double click on this, on our shot here and sort of just kind of have it right 
there on his little knuckle. And then as we scroll through the shot here, we want to now at this point we'll move it to where the end point is we wanted to have it right there and that looks pretty good at the same time since the camera's moving closer to him we can still kind of come back to the keyframe here right where we started animated it and we can set a keyframe our scale because we can scale this up just enough to show as we moving closer to him the mandela itself is growing in size so let's see here all right about there that looks pretty good right so now we kind of go back here and it's like boom that looks good so now the next thing you want to notice here right the mandela as you drag and drop it onto your timeline over your movie clip it looks flat right but we want to create like a little bit of a tilt so one way you can do that is come into your effects panel um, tab here right and then you see here in your effects panel you're going to have some presets and this is really great with adobe premiere what they can do here so in your video effects uh, drop down menu you want to click on that it drops down and come down to perspective click on that drop down menu and you can see basic 3d you just want to drag and drop that right onto your mandela effect here and as you can see here in your effects control panel you can have some control where you can change the swivel of this here so we want to swivel it a little bit outward so we can kind of concrete take this and go to like negative 14 and you can see here you can swivel this really nicely right so let's go to like right about negative 14 that looks pretty good now we on sort of like this sort of like a tilt here right now it's almost look like this is larger and this is kind of going that way here creating a little bit more depth of feel a little bit more of a 3d effect and that looks looking that looks pretty good so let's come back to our editing tab because now we're ready to add in the second mandela right bam well let's make sure this is lined up right about there right let's kind of scroll this over boom yeah that looks pretty good so now we want to do is add in the second mandela here right so kind of come back over here and right where he's that's get started let's go to mandela number two and drag and drop that right over here let's kind of get this uh lined up with our shot trim it down nice nice and good see how easy that is drag and drop trims and everything just looking sweet you can expand your timeline and uh, let's line this up to his hand here right over here so you can see this little anchor point here we're going to get into his lower knuckle Look, looks pretty good so after dragging and dropping this one then you notice that we have to get rid of that flare too so you want to make sure we highlight our clip here come to effects control panel our blend mode is set to normal set you want to scroll down and set it to screen and there it goes it looks a little bit more organic to the scene it's the same steps we did with the other effects and now we want to scale this down right because it's supposed to be a little bit smaller than the bigger one here and now we want to also kind of put this into position really nicely like that and that's looking sweet so let's see what's going on boom that's a little out of place there boom nice nice that's looking good so in this shot here we don't really have to do much tracking on his fist there right but what we do have to do is the same thing with our effect we want to add in that swivel right so we want to come back to our effects tab here come down to our basic 3d and drag and drop it right onto our Mandela number two for our vfx file here and then we also here we can kind of change the swivel a bit here you see how it kind of changed like that so let's change that also to a negative 14 and it's tilting in the same direction as our big one here and now we have completed our effect here so notice how i talk about that um glow on his face right so that little light on the face that's a different color from all the other colors in the shot here creates this really cool um effect here where we have all our glowing reds and it's sort of we still get a bit of special case face here we still get his characteristics here we still see his character in this shot here and it's looking good so these little subtleties that don't seem like a big deal makes all the difference in making your scene super dynamic hey guys really hope that you enjoyed that tutorial make sure you tune into our next one we have more fun and exciting tutorials coming up real soon until then always remember you are what you write you are what you shoot and you are what you edit with that said go out there and make big films